so um guys how have you been so, um what i want to introduce you today is about solid trail so you guys have been working you've been building your you know your apis but then you know there are certain things that uh, make you work uh, a lot more professionals and of course in a standard project we have what we call audit trail and that's what i want to introduce you to today so audit trail is just about you know um keeping uh, you know a log of everything that has been done in the system you know, keeping log of everything that has been done in the system so there are you know several implementations that you can have maybe you have it as a middleware somewhere and all of that and then have stuff logged uh, each time an action is performed or you know you just have it injected into any mot any any method or I mean, all your methods that you have so and so that way you have a very detailed um, trail so we have it centrally and you know whatever it is that you are going to be logging you know won't be that uh, detailed but when you have it within 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 a method where actions are actually being performed you can log the action you know that she's been done whether success or not so let's look at it it's pretty basic um, it's not something you know it's just for you to know the concept so it's something that see by explaining to you properly you can even do it yourself it's not a big deal so let's create like a table for it so let me say i create a table and i call it a trail or audit trail whatever it is so let me see how many columns we do need so let's let's take with four for now i might increase it so the trail id the actor that's who did what and then what was done so this is going to be tracking keeping track of who did what and what was done hi the actor action uh time performed so yeah something like this the time this actually the action was done you know and uh, okay let me add another thing to it um we had another color let's see the type of action so this one here we have here the type of action and then this one is a time performed time performed the time this was performed okay so i'm going to make actor a worker that's i'm using username here or email and um, action i'll also make it worker and then type also make it backer and the time perform i make it a timestamp uh, i make it a timestamp so the this one auto increment it then the action actor let's say 30 character then action perform let's say 200 character or 220 and the type of action that will be if it is a success if it's an information so it's this one is pretty you know optional but it's it's cool if you have it so that you know the critical log you know the logs that are just success log you know logs that are just giving information about certain things so when you look at your log and when this log is presented in the front end they can use with whether you're using a framework like bootstrap or um, you know even within their react and uh, this thing so they can use that um, that css framework to display success danger just they can just hook up to hook up to the type that you're sending to them and display red display green display blue as the case may be so that's the essence of this type and for us to know okay this thing is about security this thing is about just information all of that so i'm going to make this my intention is to be saving things like success uh things like danger into it 
so the, the character won't be more than 15 characters max so even less <clears throat> so let's say we have it like this okay and then we can have it saved now if this is saved right uh, so this is where i'm going to we can have so much more like um maybe the ip address of the person the browser the person used and all of those things so you can keep all those details um, you know more more fields as you want but i just want to introduce the concept so, so you can expatiate on it we can also have a module um, column so that we can you know keep track of so we give each of the module um, a name uh, or an id so we can create a module table and we have module name and module id so we can also introduce module id here so that when uh, we want to know the audit of a particular module so we can just get by the module id and you know we get specifically for only user management specifically for only feedback money for instance just an example so but this one here i'm just giving you a, a general overview of okay so we're keeping the log uh, together all right so uh, pretty much i'm just going to go straight to you know creating a controller that will do that so like i said you could make it as a as a, uh, this thing you want so where is it sorry all right so if i create a new file and i call it uh, trail controller uh, controller dot chairs trail controller dot chairs so if we have something like this so we um so let me just use my this thing like this uh, my database Quire, uh, where is the database i think it's inside model here yeah. so let's say i have something like this um, db okay so i have that then the next thing i want to do like i said it's just pretty it's pretty distinct so let's say i have i get the constant and i call it uh audit trail okay so which is uh, this function it takes nothing and uh, i have that so let's say I have the trail dot log trail. So let's say I declare this as a function and this take trail detail as parameter. Okay, so I have this like this. All right, so uh, the next thing is just to to just log it into database like that uh, to log so connection dots um, so query I write my query here and I have my call back here error um, response so I have them there and I have it like this okay so pretty much that now so what i want to do is uh, so let me use this insert so i'm not i'm just using it like so insert into what's the name of that table again uh trail inside into trail and the the column names um, action actor action and type that's the only one others will be able to fill themselves action actor 
actor and type that was the only guy I need okay so the values will then be uh, this the values will be this trail dot uh, that's a trail uh, that's a trail detail um say dot action dot actor rather that's first one dot actor and the second one um so this one now i'm going to have to you know this is a parameter so I, in my intention is to have we created a, as an object later on so like something like this like um, trail wherever I want to use it would be like this the trail would be like this so it will have actor trail will have actor uh, you know um, which would be like somebody then yeah, it will have action which will be like uh, something and then it will have type which will be like this you know and so having that in mind that's why i'm creating um a trail the actor because i know that later on this trail will be an object that will come like this i need to have this node actor actions and type so i have the trailer actor okay then i have this i have this so i have the action and uh, i have the type So um, this is just it. This is just it. So now, so I can undo my error and success. See my error, do something. If success, do something. Nothing. So, but all things being equal, so say um, do this error, do error, do the success, do a console. Let me just say console, just in case we we mistype the SQL statement so console of log um, error so we'll have this okay so now um, I, this guy is not this place material it's not in this it's not needed here so I'm gonna copy it out really I'm gonna cut it out cut it out so I'll go anywhere I want to use audit log okay yeah oh sorry uh, we have not exported this guy. Model dot exports uh, equals to let's export the entire audit audit tree. We, we export the entire audit tree. Then, so let's say I want to use it in my user controller. User controller, like for instance, when people are logging in. So I'm doing all of that. So let me say, I say constant. Uh, the okay, I have a signature of this one here. Okay, so let me have constant objects. Manager is equals to require require um where is this thing says uh, no, the I think it, this is user's controller now, so this guy should be here okay yeah so this is 
trail control so let's say we have that then don't forget that I, I have that my object copied so let me say I want to use it in the login when people are logging in so I want to use it here for instance when the when the sign up is not successful for instance here so let me say actor for the at, at this point we don't know this person at this point we don't know this person so I can say that um, I have this as a uh, actor is uh, anonymous anonymous actor and then so I can put the action that was performed there anonymous user with with let's say with this so another person will want to log the 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 password that the person is been using to log try to log in so you say where is it anybody can change us to and i'm going that with uh, email this this request body here so let me say i'm using this and i'm going use that with request body attempt login login or failed so i'm not person will say i don't want user with this we'll at them login with username this and password that but failed and then this one here i'm going to log it as critical or i say danger so anything that is that is not that is like um a failed attempt or security <laughs> so you can have another thing and say um status maybe is critical or um that's in your column login stuff like critical you know um so so that people know how to take that log if it's a log that the system audit needs to take very serious um so this one like this this is a detail i want to say so i'm going to have then audit manager what did i call it audit manager what is that uh, okay yeah, this one here audit manager dot log trail and I'll just log this tray like this similarly I can log another one here this one is success this one is success uh, here I can log another one here see here this time around the user is not anonymous i think uh, what i'm keeping for this user is here has username okay so this one doesn't this table doesn't have a username so it's email that is being used like as username so i'll have that so i'm going to have something like this going to have something like this username um, yeah so here so let me say I use this as well um, 
so that's the actor the action this successfully login so the this thing here is success wow. so I have that so if the user is logged in successfully we are gonna have this here it is that so we're gonna have that so let's see how this work like I told you it's just a concept um, so let's say we have that uh, this is login yes so uh, this is Connection is equals to model. It's, it's train and error. Where is it? Instead of constants, so all right. So this is a successful login logged in user. This is a successful login user. So we see that uh, this is there. So let's see what is logged for this user. If our log is working now so you can see that this person we have a log kachi kachi what is it um, kachi.com that's the actor action oh i mixed it actor action so we we have we're saving some we have saving action inside the uh, so we need to go and correct that Where is it uh, insert into this oh can you imagine so actor first actor first and then action second like this actor first action second then titled so i'm going to log in again so now my server has restarted let me log in again then check that log so i can see now the actor and then the action that was performed and the type and the this thing now if i log in again let me log in again with the wrong password let's see As I have these invalid credentials, and then if I see my log, I browse my log, so I can see that I have this anonymous user action, um, anonymous user with this thing attempt, you know, attempt to log in, and then I have the type here. So this is now if you you then use this one everywhere in your application so you you can be sure that anything that happens in your application you have a record of it you have a record of it like i said you could do it outside here but the detail you know this is where the action is being performed this is where the action is being performed so if i did this if i if i done this separate um so in a as like a middleware just have it injected and i'm not taking note of you know the real detail of what is happening so that my audit will not be that detailed 
So for for instance, here you now you can you know because this is where the action is being, where is this? Uh, this is where the action is being performed. So you know stuff around here now. So you can write it in detail. In fact, you can write um, some other things uh, around what is happening around um, that particular action. So um, this is what uh, I meant to share with us today. Um, so I hope you guys, um, you know, implement it as soon as possible into your project. Uh, thank you guys.